it's Jessie V and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a very terrifying Barbie computer game from the 90s. I have seen clips of this game going around the internet on TikTok everywhere. People are rediscovering it, playing it, and realizing how creepy it was for kids. So we're going to be dissecting this very strange game in just a moment and please let me know if you've played it because I feel like deep down in my brain I have these memories of me playing this game but I'm not sure if they're real or not because when this game came out I think I was five years old so I don't quite remember that far. Before I get started though as you can tell I'm wearing a Hogwarts top. This top has a cape okay I've worn it a couple times on my channel before. It's been a long time though all right. <laughs> I don't usually wear capes around but this is because we have just launched some real Harry Potter products on our website. I'm so excited. Harry Potter is like my favorite movie ever and so we have launched crystals depending on which house you're in. So we have Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. I am Gryffindor. And so here is my crystal. How cool is that? So it has the front that says Gryffindor, it has the lion in the back, and it's just such a cool size and it just rests on a shelf or by your bed or it maybe you have a Harry Potter display, I don't know. Now it's not a real crystal obviously, it looks like one, it's heavy like one, but they're actually called facets, but I don't know what that means so I'm calling it a crystal. But they come in these really cool Harry Potter packaging, so here is Slytherin, here is Hufflepuff, Ty is Hufflepuff by the way. We also have Ravenclaw. And if you don't know which house you belong in, there are tests online, you can check it out. But maybe if you're undecided, we do have the sorting hat crystal, <laughs> which I love as well. But we do only have a limited amount of these, so if you would like one, I have linked it down below. This is real, authentic Harry Potter merch. And yeah, I'm just so excited. My heart is Gryffindor and will always be Gryffindor. By the way, comment which house you're in down below. I'm curious. And if you're Slytherin, don't come after me, okay? I also want to give a shout out to our newest Yana school who has implemented this amazing program. So congrats to North Wamak Grade School. You guys are amazing. If anyone watching would like to start a Yana group, all you have to do is reach out to yana at jessiev.com and we will help you from there. Okay, so let's get right into today's video. So Detective Barbie was a huge thing back in the late 90s and a series of three point and click mystery computer games came out where she would just solve mysteries. So the very first game that ever came out is the one we're actually talking about today and this one is called Detective Barbie in the Mystery of the Carnival Caper. So this one was released in 1998 and people went crazy for it. Pretty much every single Barbie fan was excited to play it. And back in the 90s, CD style computer games were so popular. I had so many. I think my favorite one was Freddy the Fish. Does anybody remember that one? But little did people know this game was not going to be happy-go-lucky, super fun, sparkly Barbie. This game actually had some pretty dark and scary elements to it. I'd say especially if you're playing this at a very young age. So here's the actual description of the game just to give you a quick idea. It says, Ken went to a local carnival and volunteered for a disappearing magic trick and now he can't be found. The police have been looking frantically but no one has a clue where Ken might be. So it is up to the player, aka you, to locate him. Tasks include gathering clues in specific locations, in the park, solving puzzles, and playing mini games. So you're basically like just looking for Ken in this carnival. Where is he hiding? Where was, where is he lost? He's been kidnapped and Barbie has to find him. With your help, we can save Ken and the carnival. So we're gonna get into the gameplay. I am gonna show you some clips of this game. It is from the 90s, guys, so it's gonna be pixelated, old looking. I'm sorry about that. So the whole game is controlled using your mouse. So you move Barbie around by moving your mouse to the edge of the screen and she follows it. And then you can click items around the carnival to interact with them and solve clues. There's also some characters in the game that you can interact with, like a literal clown, which isn't weird at all. So many people are concerned. With everyone pitching in, we'll find him in no time. 
and people complain that this game kind of gives them liminal space vibes because it's just this entirely empty carnival with creepy carnival clown music in the background and we haven't even gotten to the strangest part yet okay there is this mysterious shadow figure that will just appear in the background of the game as you're playing it sometimes he'll pop his head in or poke out from behind some object or you'll see him like creepily walking in the background and there's a part where Barbie is up in the ferris wheel and the view is from the outside window and she sees this shadow person just like running below her which is so creepy here's a little clip from that I just saw a shadowy figure run by down there in the direction of the clown tent. Then after him like popping up in random creepy places, she sees him again at the entrance to the slide and she follows him because why not? Why not follow a creepy shadow figure? Hey, a shadowy figure. So then she actually starts sliding behind him, trying to catch up to him. And in the game, you have to use the arrows to decide which way you want to go to follow him. Honestly, it's one of the weirdest things I have ever seen. I don't know why this was in a Barbie game, but here's a clip of you following him down the slide. We need to follow our suspect on the slide. Be super careful. Don't take a wrong turn or we might lose him. This slide is wild. Then she finds him in some sort of like swan water ride and she has to use like the ramps to go after him. We've gotta go fast and bump that crook's boat with ours. Every time you hit a ramp on a swan, we speed up. So throughout this entire time you're playing, Ken is nowhere to be found, okay? You're just basically going after this weird shadow mysterious figure and then you come across this security tape you find a computer put it inside press play and you can clearly see this mysterious person stuffing Ken into this like carnival contraption it looks like something that like magicians would use look at that it's our suspect and there's Ken can you make out where he is does that look like a dressing room to you so she knows where that contraption is. She goes there, frees Ken. Ken, thank goodness. Let's get you somewhere safe. And like, so I'm glad she gets him out, but I just wanna know, like, why wasn't he like yelling inside of there the entire time? I know his arms are behind his back, but like, why wasn't he like smashing with his body or his head, like making some noise? Because as you're playing the game, and this game takes a couple hours to play through, you pass by this thing so many times in the game and it's utterly quiet. And like, Ken's just like, he's given up. He's just in there like, his mouth is open like the the thing's only over his eyes and then there's this super eerie part as the game is ending and everyone's like happy and the guy's been sent to prison and then barbie ken and kelly are like looking at the person playing the game and they tell them to be careful not to disappear or something along those lines let's play that we hope to see you again soon yeah don't disappear for too long oh ken <laughs> and I love the laughter after that. They have like no expression. They're just like, ha 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 ha. Anyways, anyone who played this game as a child, or even now, to be honest, because this is being rediscovered, they say it's nightmare fuel, which I definitely agree with. I mean, if you go and look up any clips from it on YouTube, wherever, Reddit, every single comment is talking about how scary this game was. I even found this forum where this person was talking about this glitch they experienced where the shadow person's face came right up to the screen and like covered the entire screen and all you could see was like the silhouette of the hat and the shoulders but the face was so dark you couldn't see any features on it and it just like stayed like that and the person had to like force restart their computer so like that is super weird and like I don't even think this was a creepypasta like I think it was a legit glitch which would terrify me if I was playing it and yeah if you want me to talk about any 
old creepy computer games? Give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Maybe I can make this a series and maybe comment down below which ones you want me to cover. Um, but yeah, before I go, if you would like one of your Hogwarts house crystals, they are called facets. I call them crystals. Uh, I have linked them down below. And don't forget to comment which Hogwarts house you're in. Is there anyone else in Gryffindor? I want to know. Anyways, have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!